The actual inflation rate is about 15%, says Gerald Salente, founder of Trends Journal. When the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, we'll see the biggest crash in world history in this issue of Salente, Outlook 2022, Tipping Point. The big ones are growing every day, and Daniela tells Cambone, take a look back at the M&A activity. He redoubles his previous remarks that government officials have set up a criminal organization in front of everyone. Salente believes there will be a multitude of entrepreneurial opportunities within the metaverse and says it will take it to another level altogether. Silver is one of the best conductors of electricity and will be instrumental in powering the metaverse of solar panels, and that's why I'm optimistic about silver, he concludes. Listen to the full podcast to understand what's going on the US inflation rate, and are we witnessing a severe economic disaster? Please follow us on YouTube and open your notifications for further podcasts. Enjoy and thank you. We'll get back to it. Let's talk. Let's talk some money now. Let's talk money. I want to talk policy with you. Uh, you've written a lot about this. One of your other favorite topics, Gerald, and your other favorite people, the Federal Reserve. Oh, yeah. Uh, now looking to, uh, you know, in the, they're in the midst of trying to fight um, the strongest inflationary environment since the 80s. Um, gearing up to uh, not just taper asset purchases, but start their interest rate hike scenario. Uh, But you've warned that an artificially low interest rate policy ending would create disaster for the global financial market. Don't they know this? They do know it. That's why they were lying about inflation being a year ago. Oh, hey, I'm the Fed chair. It's only temporary. You're full of baloney, Salenti. This isn't real interest rates. And that only went on until April. Then it became transitory. Oh, and also from Yellen, the other Fed head that's the Treasury Secretary now. How corrupt could it be right in front of you? The Fed head is now U.S. Treasury Secretary throwing out the same BS month after month after month. It's only temporary. And as you said, it's at the highest since 1982, but it's actually higher because they re- re- they rigged the inflation numbers, as everybody on Stansberry knows. Oh, your housing prices went up 19%? No, that's not inflationary. Oh, you mean the meat, meat prices went up? Oh, they're not eating steak now, they're eating beef. So no, that didn't go up either. The real inflation rate, according to John Williams' shadow stats, is about 15%. You actually have negative interest rates when you look at inflation. And the only reason the markets have gone up is all the cheap money they've pumped into it in the United States, in, in, in Japan, in, in the EU, all of this cheap money, merger and acquisition activity, all time high. Stock buybacks, boom, hitting another boom. All the cheap money artificially threw this thing up. All the cheap money coming in from governments to artificially prop it up. Hey, here's your $600 a week. Stay home. Remember that one? So the whole thing has been artificial. My belief is when Fed rate hits 1.5%, this thing goes down hard, big, and the biggest crash in world history. You're not the first person to warn about it, but but here's the thing. They've been trying to avoid this crash for so long, sweating blood, sweat and tears, pumping money, right? Keeping a low interest rate environment to avoid that scenario. Why would they just release it now? Why would they give it up? They have to because of the inflation rate. And uh, it's just, it's out of control. And if, if they keep these interest rate, again, this is what lying little people they are. These are the same fat mouth banksters that were BSing that, hey, when it hits 2%, we're going to raise interest rates. Hey, when it hits 2%, we're going to make that number up too. I think they made that one up around 2010, 2012. Oh, how, forget about the United States. How about over there in the uh, European Central Bank with the other banks to look la- Lagarde? Oh, yeah, what is the interest? Oh, the inflation rate's hitting. Oh, oh, and Germany's now sinking possibly into a recession. The richest country in Europe. And they're still keeping interest rates into negative territory. This is criminality. Because the only ones that are benefiting are the bigs. The bigs. Look again at the merger and acquisition activity. Every day, every day buying out and the little people going out of business and the bigs are getting bigger. 
And, and to that point, I want to bring up Nancy Pelosi now before we get to your top trends of 2022. Um, how's that as a segue? Uh, I'm sure you caught it, a recent news yep. conference where she was asked uh, whether it's okay that lawmakers uh, participate in the stock market. She says, why not? It's a, it's a free country. There's nothing wrong with people who create the laws and regulations and know what's coming up to be invested in the stock market. And like I was telling you, uh, AOC actually, you know, speaking some sense here saying, um, yeah, maybe it is an issue that the people who create the policies do not take part in the stock market. I mean, what did you make of Pelosi's comments there, Gerald? I, again, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, you use the word lawmaker. Yeah. And the people call them dignitaries and officials. To me, that's those are curse words. Tell them to somebody, if you had enough of your crap, that's not a curse word in the proper situation. Calling these people lawmakers and officials and government authorities, that's profanity. It's a, as I said, it's a crime syndicate. Hey, the, the banksters are too big to fail. You're just a piece of garbage. I want to get rid of that guy, Assad. I don't like that guy, uh, uh, Gaddafi, I want us. I, I, I want Hussein out of there. They're murderers and thieves. Go beyond it. How about the Federal Reserve? You like that little boy Kaplan over there, the former Fed head down in Texas that was playing the markets, doing the insider trading for millions and millions of dollars before the Fed would announce what they were going to do? How about that little guy up there, that Rosengren? with the Fed. How about him? Oh, oh, and we're gonna retire now. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, and how about how about all the people in the government and in, in the crime syndicate called the United States government that are invested with the big pharma? And by the way, don't call them big pharma, call them what they are, they're drug dealers. Look at all of the people that are invested with them pushing the vaccinations. Oh, and there's another one. How about the 131 federal judges that are active with cases involving financial issues of which they or their families were invested in? It's a crime syndicate in front of everybody's eyes. You know the saying, Gerald, what's good for the goose, right? And that's why you're seeing what's good for the goose. That's why you're seeing all of these crimes going on with the smash and grab and everything else. Hey, if they could do it at the top, why can't I do it? Let's talk about protecting ourselves in 2022. Like, is there any silver lining, any, any opportunity here? Yeah, there's a lot of opportunity. I mean, life goes on. You know, one of our top trends, again, I, I look at things for the way they are, not the way I want them to be. Uh, this whole metaverse thing, it's real. And it's going to keep going and accelerating in very big ways. And there's going to be a lot of entrepreneur opportunities in that, whether it's from healthcare, you know, entertainment, um, education. The education system we have now is a joke. It, it was invented by the Prussians during the beginning of the industrial age to get people to read, write, do math and follow orders. If it was working so well, you'd think we'd be in the crap that we're in. So now with all this online learning and, and virtual reality, it's going to go to a whole nother level. The public education system, when it was invented in America, was for the poor people. The people that had any kind of means, they were doing it themselves or taking their... Now with this online education, that's going to be one of the biggest entrepreneur opportunities that I see. Why do you have to go to a public school when online now you can get the best teachers and what you want to be taught in? And then again, you look at the, you look at the data. Yeah, again, this is from last week's, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, uh, Wall Street Journal. NYU tops ranks in debt for grad students and parents. So you're getting all this education going this deep in debt and for what? So now I can learn to do what I want to do. No, I don't have to show you my diploma. I'll show you what I, my, by my deeds, you shall know me. So that's going to be a big one. This metaverse thing is going to be very big. And there's going to be a lot of money to be made in it. It's a whole new world. And again, my, my, I don't give financial advice. I'm not permitted to. Uh, for me, it's GSB, gold, silver, and Bitcoin. And I still believe in them. And to me, again, oh, oh. The crime syndicate, the crime syndicate, J.P. Morgan Chase. 
Oh, at the end of the year, they got another slap on the wrist for doing another dirty deal for a couple of million dollars only, you know. Oh, before that, 2019, 200 million dollars for rigging the gold and silver markets, the precious metals markets. Again, to me, these markets would be much higher. We were talking about before about the lawmakers and the banksters and the judges play in the game. So, so gold for you, because there's so much debate now, oh, gold's not performing the way it should be. It's not the ultimate inflation hedge. But for you, in yeah. this current environment, it's still one of the best forms of protection. For me, yeah. And I buy it and put it away. I buy it and I put it, I don't trade it. I began my career trading gold and silver when the Iranian conflict broke out. And when everybody learned with it being taught to hate Iran, I said, what will the implications be? And I realized that gold and silver would go up, uh, gold and oil. And I pl started playing gold and oil futures back in the late seventies when no one was playing them. And I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I parlayed a $5,000 bet into almost three quarters of a million dollars. And that's when I quit my job as the number two guy running a major trade association. And so, and I was in DC and Chicago in the day, but so I, but I buy it now. I've been buying it and I put it away. I buy it and I put it away. I buy it and put it away.